On the bottom of the Hostos homepage, you will find an icon for CUNY First. Clicking on this takes you to a page that contains all relevant information about CUNY First for a Hostos user. Click on the login icon and this takes you to the CUNY First logon page. All enrolled students have a CUNY First account. First time users, however, need to claim their accounts in order to activate it. This is how it's done. Click on the link as shown. Here, enter your first name, your last name, your date of birth, and the last four digits of your social security number. Also, complete the security feature by typing out the two words as displayed. Next, you will set up your challenge question answers. These question answers will help you in getting access to your account in case you have forgotten your password. Next, you will set up your password. When you have successfully activated your account, you will be provided your username. You will use this username when logging into CUNY First. You will also get an 8-digit number called the Ample ID. This Ample ID can be found on the back of your host host ID card as shown. Note that the last two numbers of your username are the same as your Ample ID. To log into CUNY First, on the Logon page, enter your username as you were given and the password you created. Then click on the Go button. This is the home page of CUNY First. You can manage all your administrative activities inside the Student Center. To get to the Student Center, click on the Self Service and then on Student Center. The information within Student Center is neatly arranged into sections. On the left, you have a section for Academics, another one for Finances, and one for Personal Information. On the right, you have a button to search for classes, a section displaying your holes, a to-do list, enrollment dates, and a section containing other useful CUNY-related links. Enrolling for a class is a two-step process. First, you add the class to your shopping cart. Next, you select the class inside your shopping cart and then enroll. We start by clicking on the Search for Classes button. You can find a class in two ways, by searching for a class or by browsing through the course catalog. To search, begin by choosing Hostos in the Institution field, and then by the term you would like to view. Next, choose the course subject, and then click on the Search button. All the results that match your search appear below. Scroll down and click the Select Class button beside the class that you would like to enroll in. Go over the details and then click on Next. Notice the confirmation message that the class has now been added to your shopping cart. In the second method, you start by clicking on the Browse Course Catalog. Choose Hostos in the Institution field and then click on Change. Courses are listed here in alphabetical order. Click on the alphabet corresponding to the subject as shown. Clicking on the subject gives you a complete list of courses. Click on the course title to view all details. Click on the View Class sections and results are displayed below. To view the course schedules, choose the term and click on the Show Sections button.
scroll down and click the select button beside the class that you would like to enroll in. View all details and click on the next button to add to your shopping cart. You will see a confirmation message. Next, to enroll, you need to go to the shopping cart. A link has been provided. You can click on this. You can also get here from the Student Center. Notice the link to the enrollment shopping cart in the Academic section. Click on this. Step 1. Select the checkbox beside the class and click on Enroll. Step 2. Click on Finish Enrolling button. Step 3. Ensure that you are enrolled by viewing the status icon. Students can view their financial information in the Finances section in Student Center. Clicking on Account Inquiry provides you the latest information regarding your finances. The Summary tab provides the Account Summary. The Activity tab lists all account activities. Charges due displays amounts due along with the due dates. You can also view your financial aid information from the Student Center as shown. Keep in mind that financial aid information for new students will appear 24 hours after they have enrolled in class. The top of the page has important information as well. It displays your name, your Ample ID, and two icons. This icon here represents a stop. If this appears, then you have a stop on your record. A stop or a hold prevents you from performing many administrative actions. The reasons for the hold are always listed below in the hold section. It is important to deal with these holds as they can prevent you from registration as well.